What's up guys, it's Azran here, and CO is about as good as a Lotus Gym Trader, but we already knew that kind of shit. So, we are here, we have more ULC coverage, and we are doing the Empire versus X. Empire versus X, this was a good matchup here, good matchup. So we've got double switches for X with Poison, and Alliance Ico with Flying. So we'll see how this goes. Double switches leads off with Crobat as Ico leads off with Zard. Zard Y is going to come in, hit that Solar Beam or Fire Blast real quick, but it's going to do absolutely nothing to the Tox Specs. That leg was going to be a problem for Ico's team. He goes for another flamethrower here as Tox Specs goes for the Toxic. Hit the lefties here, so lefties, he doesn't have to risk a roll. Into Lando we go as double switches go straight for the recover. And now this thing might be a threat, if it, especially if it's Rock Polish. Toxpex goes for the Toxic to put it on a timer, which is really good. Lando goes for the SD here. Toxpex goes for the Haze. Haze is it all the way, so now this Lando should have Earthquake while he had a chance. So now into Crobat we go as the Lando goes for SD again. Crobat goes for the Brave Bird, but I think he's definitely going to take it, take the Ground Attacker for his Crobat. That is definitely a valuable and worthwhile trade for double switches. So down goes the Lando. And Ico lost one of his big win conditions, so now into Nidoking we go. Nidoking has the T-Bolt tech and bops Ico. So now Dragonite comes out, Nidoking goes for the Ice Beam, it's 89% of the Dragonite, as Dragonite is forced to go straight for the Outrage. So now Double Switches is going to go into Nihilego, click the Power Gem button, and I think that's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. That's a GG, unless this thing has a Whirlwind. Boom. No Whirlwind. Oh, it does, so it's not yet over, although it kind of is. Skarmory's gonna go for the Roost, but as all mugs carry nowadays, it's got the Fire Blast on deck. And we're gonna shoot, we should see a switch out soon, right? Knock off, knock this thing, lefties off. Yep. Nope, no, not yet. Where's the Roost? There we go. In the Nihilego we go as Skarm goes for the Roost. Nihilego's gonna go for the T-Bolt and do a decent amount of the Skarmory as Skarmory gets up the rocks. Ico's gonna go into Zapdos now as Nihilego's gonna go for the T-Bolt. Double switches could switch into Mach, but it would be cool if um, Ico um, doubled. Actually, he doesn't need to double because he's just going to both switch out into Skarm. And Harden into Hilego we go for double switches. Skarm goes for the Roost. And Ico goes straight into Zapdos and gets bopped by the Power Gem, so that's a GG at that point. Yep. And it's just going to be a power gem sweep. Ico's going to click X and double switches takes the first battle, giving X the 1-0 advantage. So now we move on to game 2 here. Paleo versus Orphus or Kaiser. And Paleo's just got overwhelming matchup. So see how Orphus can fare. So it's Rotom versus Greninja and Rotom goes for the Pulse. I mean Greninja goes for the Pulse on the Rotom. It's Life Orb. As Rotom goes for the Hydro Pump, does 62% to the Greninja. And another Pulse comes out from Greninja. It does not kill... What are those rolls? Can we talk about that? Crit Dark Pulse with six, for 63, and then like regular Dark Pulse for 36%. It's kind of weird, but <laughs> down goes the Greninja. Er, yeah, down goes the Greninja. His Golem goes straight for the return of the employee. It doesn't even care about the Gastro, and just wipes it off the face of the Earth. Golem goes for the Rocks as Gastro goes for the Skull. Golem goes for the Stone Edit, Stone Edge, as Gastro goes for the Skull again, knocking out the Golem. That Stone Edge did a fuckload, actually. Into Rotom we go, as Rotom's just gonna pain split up here. Gastro's gonna go for the Toxic, and now you can definitely expect this Gastro to recover. He goes for the, actually, no, Paleo goes for the Will, I'm surprised he didn't switch out. So now Recover comes out. Once this thing dies, Tapu Koko and Riot have a field day, and it's over. So Rotom's just gonna continue to pain split here, as Gastro's gonna Scald here, get some damage off as the Toxic continues to wear down Paleo's Rotom. Paleo should think about switching out soon, as he does here, and goes into his Coco. As Gastro goes for the Earthquake, predicts that nicely, but I mean, only does 29%, so it's not really too much to do there. So Toxpex comes out as Paleo... Oh, so this is Taunt, so this thing is going to absolutely decimate Orphus' team. So into Gastro we go, as Coco goes for the T-Bolt. Coco's gonna go for the Taunt here. And Gastro goes straight for the Skull, trying to get the burn. No burn happening here. And Coco's going to go for the Nature's Madness. Do 28% as the Gastro goes for the Skull. Gets the burn and is able to... No, not able to knock out 
the Coco because of the Iapa Berry, the Clutch Iapa Berry. Coco goes for another Nature's Madness. Gastro goes for the Earthquake, and it's not able to kill. And I don't know if Coco will be able to kill it this turn. Or he's just gonna go taunt. He's just gonna go straight for the taunt here. So Gastro is gonna go for the Scald and knock out the Coco. But still, once the Coco dies, Raichu wins either way. Like, see, he's gonna switch out into Toxapex. As he goes for the Psychic, does 87%, but that's a crit, so Toxapex is just disgusting. So down goes the Toxapex. In a slow bro we go. Is this Raichu Specs? It appears not to be. It appears to be Z, Ryo, Alola, Alola Raichu in Z. And yeah, this thing wins, honestly, because T-Bull is going to knock this thing out, and Psychic is going to be able to knock out the Gastrodon. So that's a GG. X is up 2-0 now versus Alliance, so we'll see how Game 3 goes. And here we are. Game 3 is Donut versus Balto, and Donut's rocking this unconventional fairy team with a little nine tails, which actually serves him really well because this is a freeze-dry nine tails, and it's going to decimate Balto's team as Toxpex goes for the T-Spike there. Donut... Or Balto's going for the Baneful Bunker here. Get some juicy leftovers back. A little bit. Or, I mean nothing because the hail cancels it out. So down goes the Toxapex. In a Tapufini we go. And Donut is definitely fine whittling this thing down. Because Tapufini is fat. As Fini goes for the Nature's Madness and does 50%. He should probably go for a special attack drop, I think. Boom. Goodbye, Fini. Now into Keldeo we go. Because now he's in range of Keldeo's Secret Sword. Surf comes out. Balto's gonna switch out into Swamper as Fini goes for the Moonblast. And now Balto's gonna switch out again into Sharpedo as Fini goes for the Taunt to prevent the rocks from going up. Into Klefki we go as the Sharpedo goes straight for the Psychic Fangs on the Fini. He just Mega Evolves, doesn't even care. Swamper comes out, T Wave. He tried to T Wave. Don't try to T Wave a, um, a dark prankster mon so that's interesting as Swampert's gonna get up some rocks and Cleffy's gonna get, get up some spikes yep spikes scald and then Cleffy's gonna get a third layer up and it's able and the skull's able to knock out the Cleffy so now into Azu we go Azu's gonna go for the belly drum here get that juice up is this Swampert gonna go for the roar and he does predict the roar which is really nice good for Balto so now Feeny's here, taking racks of poison damage as he goes for the Surf. Only does 28% as Swapper goes for the Scald. Feeny's gonna go for the Calm Mind here as Swapper's gonna go for the Roar, predicting that. So into Magirna we go now. As Magirna goes for his Z move, Z fighting. So down goes the Swapper, gets the Soul Heart boost. And now Keldeo's in. I think he should have chipped, chipped it with Sharpedo and still gone to Keldeo. I mean, either way, Coco would have won, but still, nonetheless, like, yeah, Coco wins here. No, he decides to go into Feeny still. Stays going into Feeny as he goes for the Moonblast, able to knock out the Keldeo in Trick Room. So now Balto goes out in a Sharpedo. He's going to protect Stall here a little bit. He goes for the Moonblast. I felt like Balto should have protected here again, that was his only play, but he doesn't and just goes straight for the moon, and then Donut goes straight for the moon blast, knocking out the Suicune. Or the Sharpedo, god, I'm messing up. <coughs> Suicune goes for the Calm Mind, as Tapu Fini goes for the Taunt to stop it right in its tracks and force it to spam Scald, which is really good actually. Suicune goes for the Scald here, it's not going to kill Fini because of the leftovers. But Suicune, he gets the special attack drop on Suicune. He, Suicune goes for another Skull, knocking out the Feeny. And now Coco slash Ninetales can just run train. And Donut's going to decide to win this game with the Coco. As Coco goes for the T-Bolt. So that's probably Specs' Fox. So two T-Bolts is going to be able to knock out the Suicune here. And that's going to be a good game in Donut's favor after Bulba protects Stalls a little bit. So down goes that Suicune. And Donut's able to take it 3-0 putting Alliance on the board at 2-1. So now we'll move on to our next battle. Our next battle here is Crass versus Dyla, and Crass decided to bring fighting. He's out here, like Gen 5 fighting, because we have a Scrafty on there. Like, I haven't seen Scrafty on fighting models since like Gen 5, for on, on Gen 5 teams or something like that. So, 
let's see how Dyla fares. As Crass leads off with Keldeo and Hippo is the play. No Breloom, so Dyla does have a chance. Komomo comes out as Dyla is going to switch in his Nidoking. Crass is going to switch out again in Scrafty as Nidoking goes for the Ice Beam. Gets a crit, so I think Earth Power will definitely be able to knock him out now. But no, he decides to go into Garchomp as this thing goes for the rest. So that is Choice Nidoking of sorts. Definitely Choice Nidoking. Garchomp goes for the EQ, does 45, as Scrafty is going to hit the rest. But is he going to wake up? Yes, he's going to wake up via Shed Skin. Crass is going to switch out into Infernape as Garchomp goes for the EQ. And he's able to live because the sand went away, get up the rocks, and Earthquake kills the Infernape. So now in the Heracross we go, as Heracross goes straight for the Mega Horn. Garch it takes a lot, and then Dyla goes for the Z Fire move, and down goes the Heracross. So it's not looking good for Crass right now. Kelly goes for the Pump. Dyla goes into Gastro. In the Coma when he goes, Gastro goes for EQ. Dyla's gonna switch out into Hippo. And his Clanging Scales comes out. He's going to switch out into Driller here. Clanging Scales, boom, still does a lot. I think Crash is going to sack his Driller here. No, he's going to sack his Crafty. Or, scra sack the Driller, what am I thinking? Into Keldeo again we go. Keldeo is Scarf Keldeo, looking to be Scarf Keldeo. So, it's able to be faster than that That Drill. Uh, wait, wait, what? Am I tripping? Oh, it was, it was Mold Breaker Drill? What is this? Mold Breaker Drill, so Keldeo is still here to put in some work as Gastro is going to come out. Keldeo is going to go for the Secret Sword. Does 30% to Gastro, so actually, maybe Gastro just wins this with like a Curse or an Acid Armor. Komomo comes out as Gastro hits, up, hits the EQ button again. Dial is obviously going to switch out his win condition here. And boom, Clanging Scales is here, and we will chip out the Komomo a little bit more. Nido King comes out and is going to be able to quick Earth Power freely, I think. No, he just goes straight for the Ice Beam. Maybe he doesn't have Earth Power as he chips away the Terrakion and dial has got Last Mon Gastro. And is it going to be enough? Yes, it is because it's Acid Armor. And that should be the game because Keldeo can't touch it with Water Moves and Secret Sword is going to bounce off. Yep. Yep. So Gastrodon is going to slowly whittle this thing. Slowly kill the Komomo. Focus Blast, we don't even get to see the damage on that. And down goes the Komomo. Tarak can't do anything except hope for a crit. And it's gonna die. Keldeo. Yeah, nothing. GG. Last Mon Gastrodon is able to come through for Dyla. And now we're tied up at 2 2. So now we'll move on to the final game of this series. Final game is Wanka versus Red Braze. And Wanka has ground and Red Braze is electric. But this is not an auto win for either. Side. So this is going to be a fun game actually. Red Braze leads off with Golem as Wanka leads off with the Mammo. And Wanka gets a, that's a, gets a flinch turn 1 which sucks major donkey dick. So this is banned Mammo as you can tell by that damage. Maybe? Or so we thought. So into Coco we go here. Let's see if this Coco has Grass or not. As Excadrill is going to be the switch in and Coco goes straight for the U-turn. And if we can see now that it's Life Orb. So into Magnezone we go. Oh, the Trapping Magnezone, the tech. The Trap Magnezone tech. So let's see if this Specs HP fire. That's, I don't, oh, it's not Specs, it's Air Balloon. What am I saying? So yep, he's able to trap the Band Driller, which honestly was not that much of a threat on ground. So, yeah. Into the Zapdos we go as this Toad's going to get a Prox. Does this Zapdos have Toxic? No, nope, it's going to go for the Heat Wave though. As Seismitoad misses its own Toxic. That Zapdos is going to defog, and get, Wanka's going to get the Toxic off on the Zapdos. Seismitoad's going to get the rocks up here. Wanka's switching out into Garchomp as Tapu Koko goes for the Nature's Madness. Life Orb, Nature's Madness, what a tech. Life Orb, Nature's Madness, U-turn. Like, in a Mammal we go, so Wanka here gets another free Icicle Crash, and the Sack is going to be Magnezone. Yep, it's definitely a Sack. Wanka's going to switch out into Seismitoad as Magnezone goes straight for the Flash Cannon. Just in case it had speed maybe or something like that. Red Braze goes into Zapper here as Seismitoad goes for the Scald. 
Let me reset that. Boom. Zapdos is going to defog the rocks away as Red Braze predicts, I guess, but the Zapdos is really low now. So Red Braze is going to switch out into Rotom as Seismic Tone goes against the rocks. So now we'll see where this Rotom is. So he goes for the Toxic as the Rotom goes for the Sub, and yeah, like this is your only way to wall like his teams, I guess, appropriately because your Zapdos is dead. So this is where the GG happened, honestly. Because Red Braze was doing pretty well, I guess, versus Wanka. Got rid of the Driller, you know, but the Lando was still in the back. But he still had Raichu fresh and healthy. And that Coco has U-Turn, so he actually was in a good position. But, you know, sacking his Rotom and him un being unable to deal with the Seismitoad really hurt. And now Red Braze is just going to die to this Seismitoad as Hippo comes out now. Goes for the Nature's Madness. Hmm... Red Braze is going to switch out into the Golem Alolan formation as you just go straight for the EQ, down goes the Golem. So are we going into Rotom? Yeah, best you can do here. He's going to go for the Toxic, he should have just, as he goes for the Whirlwind, more Rocks damage. Now if this thing is Grass, Grass with HP Ice, it wins, but I highly doubt that. Into Rotom we go, no double, no nothing. Rotom continues to get whittled down hard by hazards, sand, and poison. Rotom goes for the Hydro, kills the Hippo, but it doesn't matter because the Seismitoad is still there. Yeah, he's just gonna- oh, but he's gonna go to Mammal Swine and just go straight for the Ice Shard, not messing around. As Tapu Koko is the switch, not Raichu for some reason, I guess. No Focus Blast or Surf. Seismitoad comes out as Koko goes for the Nature's Madness. Hmm. Huh. But this thing is HP Ice, I mean... Focus Blast. <laughs> There's a chance, but I doubt it. So now Raichu's gonna come out, especially since he only has four turns, at, actually three turns of, of taking advantage of the speed. Psy Shock, boom, gonna be able to kill. Mammo. Ice Shard just kills the Raichu outright, and Wanka's able to take a 3 0 victory, and X is going to squeak it out 3 2. That was a pretty good set. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.